student at JTEC, and today we're going to go over any components of diesel engine. So we have a checklist here. The first thing we have is the actual motor. The actual motor sits right here, directly in front of the radiator. Basically, all it's for is to cool the intake air coming out of the turbo before it goes to the intake manifold and goes straight to the cylinder. The fuel pump is right here. The fuel pump is exactly what it says it pumps fuel through the system. Next is our piston oil spray nozzle. You won't see it because it's located internally to the engine. It sprays oil up, lubricates the piston pins on the piston. Exhaust manifold. The exhaust manifold is located on this side of the engine, right here behind the turbo. All it's used for is expelling exhaust gases into the turbo and out of the exhaust pipe. Intake manifold. Back on the other side, the intake manifold is located right here. Basically, all it is is for the intake air to go into the cylinder. Turbocharger, back on the other side. Right here's your turbocharger. This is your intake side of your turbo and your exhaust side. The exhaust side drives the turbo by the exhaust fumes and gases coming out of the exhaust manifold by turning your turbine, turn the intake side, forcing cold air through the intake into the after cooler, over into the intake manifold and back into the cylinder. Next you have your oil cooler. Oil cooler is right here. It's this long tube looking thing. All it does is cools the oil, so you take away heat from the engine. Next thing, your vibration damper. The vibration damper is this big wheel right here. It's used to dampen the vibrations from the crankshaft as the pistons go around due to the explosions inside the cylinders. Crankcase breather. It's located right here on the top of the engine. Right. Here, basically all it is is to relieve pressure inside of the crankcase so you don't have too much pressure leading to a crankcase explosion. Your water pump is located right here. As it turns, it pushes the coolant through the system to help keep the engine cool. Next, your uh, ID tag for your serial number and model number. Located right here on the side, just under the valve cover. It has all your engine information, serial number, model number, and all that other extra stuff that you may need to know. Your EGR cooler. This engine is an older engine, it does not have an EGR system, therefore, it does not have an EGR cooler. Next thing is your air compressor. Right here, the air compressor allows you to supply a vacuum and create air pressure. Supply to the brakes and the rest of the uh, air system. Thermostat housing. Thermostat housing is right here. As you can see, it's connected from the radiator and just above the water pump. Basically, it allows when it hits a certain temperature, it opens up and allows for flow through the coolant system. The oil pump is right here. Under your EG or your oil cooler, pretty much exactly what it says. It pumps your oil through your system, keeps everything lubricated. Your ECM is located on the other side. This little brick right here is your ECM. This is the brain of the system. If this goes out, your engine's not going to run. It allows communication between every single piece of electronic equipment in the vehicle. Also, it's, it's a bath. it supplies the information up to the gauges on the dash. Now you have your accessory drive pulley, which is right here. It supplies your fan to rotate your fan. Also supplies power to your AC, amongst many other, many other things. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.